Ooh, uh, YouTube. Woody Butter here, and we are back in Pokemon Flora Sky. In this episode, we are going to get through this magma building and do a little bit of a story thing, and they're going to be fun. Uh, first things first, let's get a berry on us. Right, I'm using a pet jar berry because uh, you'll see later there's quite a nasty status ailment move that's going to get used on me. I don't like it. I don't. Um, there's quite a few good items in here actually. A few good trainers as well. Um, you know, it's the usual, it's the usual. Uh, ooh, item. Um, this is a rare candy. They level your Pokemon up by one. Um, I won't go into why exactly, because it's all EVs again, but if you use it, your po unless you've trained your Pokemon for a while beforehand, your Pokemon won't end up as strong as it could be if you train it normally. But I... Uh, I don't want to go into it, to be honest. It's complicated. I'll, I will explain it one day, if I can be bothered. And that nothing all that interesting is going on. But anyway, yeah. Um, little solo run rule that I have to follow. I'm going to use all um, rare candies when I get to the Elite Four, if my practice runs show me that I can't actually beat the Elite Four without a couple extra levels. Um, I think that is my first rare candy of the whole playthrough, though, so... From the looks of it, I'm not going to be having many by the time I get to the Elite Four. So I don't know how well that rule is actually going to do for me. <laughs> mm. Um, Golbat, you know. Eh. Golbat's one of those Pokemon that creeped me out a bit as a kid. Right next to Haunter. Haunter in, um, in Crystal, which is what I had. And, well, I think, it, I think Yellow and Red and Blue as well. Because... I don't think the sprite changed that much. The sprite of Haunter was freaky as hell. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, at least, you know, you'd get freaked out by something like that. It was something. It was the. It was the thing of nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've got a Porygon here. Um, I like Porygon. I don't entirely know why. <laughs> I used a Porygon um, Z in uh, Platinum. I liked it. I really like the fact that it's a really strong special attacker, and it's like a it's like a computer program Pokemon. It's good. It's original. It's one of those. It's one of those interesting concepts. I'm sorry to bring it up again, but like cast form. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Porygon is the well, it's the first evolution. Well, not evolution. It's the first Pokemon of its evolution line, so it's not exactly amazing in defense or offense. But it was a non-evolution, or incapable of evolution, in Generation 1 and 2. No, not 2, actually. He got an evolution in 2. Yeah. Porygon 2, in fact. <laughs> yeah. But, it's... Yeah, Porygon gets a lot, lot better. Porygon 2 is very good. And Porygon Z is just awesome. Although Porygon Z is not as defensive. Which is a shame. But oh well. You can't have everything. <sighs> um, very red building. I've just noticed. Sorry, <laughs> I guess it suits their color scheme or something. Yeah. Should an evil corporation have a color scheme? <laughs> just throwing that out there. I mean, shouldn't they focus more on actually having goals like world domination or land mass or whatever? Instead of just thinking, hey, you know what? Instead of going out and actually trying to do that thing we want to do today, let's repaint the office. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Um, this place, in general, um, is kind of like the Team Rocket hideout. So, yeah. Well, it's like all of any of the uh, magma type... Well, any of the team buildings. And any of oh, it's Wally! That's Wally, hello. Anyway... Uh, See, even with the teleporting pads and stuff. So I guess it's like the third generation one. Which is funny, because this is third generation. Uh, oh, I guess that makes more sense. See, now, see when I speak things out, speak uh, things through, it all makes more sense than when I just go through it in my head. So, yeah. It's, it's good, it's good. Anyway, I like this puzzle here. Because for a while, I didn't realise that you had to actually teleport through it to get to this area. Uh, that was quite clever. I'll give it that. <laughs> Well, I feel stupid. I kicked myself when I actually figured it out. And here is the start of the story stuff. The orbs are back, of course. Um, the red orb and the blue orb, and probably the green orb. 
Um, I can't remember. <laughs> it was a while since I beat this game. Well, this hack, sorry. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a boss battle. The only reason that this this battle is hard in any possible way is the fact that um, she uses status ailments with Golbat, and with her second Pokemon, she just tanks stuff. Although, you can't really tank anything with Pamela, with her old Super Fang. Oh, spoilers. Here we go, Toxic, hello. That's the uh, nasty move I was talking about before. Toxic is very bad. Um, it badly poisons you. Badly poisoned essentially means that um, it's a poison that gradually gets worse and worse and worse and worse as the, as the turns go on and on. And that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Because if you don't heal it, um, you're going to get stuck in a cycle of um, he um, increasing your, well, healing your HP and trying to out-heal the poison, which you can't win. It's a race that you're just going to lose. <laughs> Because eventually, the poison will do enough damage to one-shot you. And that's that's pretty, it's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. But, lucky, we have a lot of antidotes, and we got berries. So that's alright, that's alright. And he talks to me again. Uh, or she talks to me again. Not good. <laughs> Generally, like I said before, if Game Freak or Hack Makers want to make a challenge for you, they'll probably just give you a status ailment. Or, um, double team. Hmm, or both. Which is upsetting. <laughs> uh, I want to try and go away from that in my hack, but I doubt I'll be able to that well. I'll try. Oh, speaking of my hack, um, bit of news. I've reached a stage where I'm thinking I could probably release a video very, very soon. Yeah. On that day, there will be no Flora Sky video, just to let you know. Because I want to try and focus everything, you know, yeah. You know how it is, you know how it is. Um, it won't be a very long video, but it'll just be... It'll just be the up to where you get the um, your starter Pokemon. And I'll explain what the starters are, and what I've changed about stats and movesets and blah de blah 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy it. When it's out, of course. <laughs> mm. um, anyway, back to the actual Floor of Sky battle. Uh, Flamethrower is surprisingly deadly in this battle. I mean, I know Pamela's not the de most defensive of Pokemon in general, but still, it shouldn't... I, I didn't think it would do that much to me, because it generally does over half, but in the practice run, for some reason, there was a couple of times that it did about 80 HP damage, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, we've been through Yawn before. Slu Mag, Mag Cargo generally carry a Yawn when you're playing through the game. Um... It's probably one of the better status conditions a mag, a mag cargo could hold. I like mag cargo. It's quite cool. Ev the evolution of slugma. If you couldn't have guessed from the actual sprite, um, yeah, it's it is quite good. Well, not good, but <laughs> it's kind of never used in the meta game. But as a kid, I, like I said before, I just I don't know why I just really liked it. Uh, mm, I still do kind of like the concept, but. <laughs> I just don't like how playing with one because it's just, it's just not good. To be honest, um, I'm not massively lucky with the sleep in this battle and confusion. I'm lucky with confusion for once. That's nice. It takes me a couple of times to wake up, but when I do, I don't hurt myself. So that's something. I'm normally really unlucky with confusion, and that's just that's just awful. You don't want to be hurting yourself more than you're hurting your opponent. See, twice in a row, I didn't hurt myself. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> you shouldn't really be proud of not hurting yourself, but given that there's this Pokemon, I feel that I should I should be allowed to be happy that I didn't that Pamela didn't hurt herself, you know? Confusion is often very deadly. More story yeah. Anyway. Uh we scare off the uh magma people with the help of Miss Cynthia and Sky. Cynthia, if you didn't know, is the champion of this region, as it just says. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be fighting her eventually. Mm. <sighs> I had a bit of a challenge with her in uh, in Platinum. <laughs> I'll go into that when I fight her again. Needless to say, we have a bit of a we have a bit of a vendetta. Not that she knows, of course, because she's essentially just a big lump of numbers. Yeah. Um. Anyway, there's an item in here. 
Um, hmm. Smoke ball. Okay. Um, the smoke ball is uh, an item that you put on your Pokemon, and if the Pokemon that has it is in a battle with a wild Pokemon, it can escape any battle. No matter what speed your opponent is, or what you are, or whatever, it can just outrun it, because the smoke ball makes smoke, <laughs> and you just run. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Um, we have a bit more story to do before the end of the video's out, and... Uh, Oh, we're going back to a place that I'm not very happy about, not very happy about, but it does give me a chance to show you something. Uh, more on that when we actually get there. So, uh, um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of lonely walking through this place without any people around. Hmm. It's like a, it's like a ghost building. Uh, I wonder if they're going to change the decor of this place now that Magma's out. Maybe a nice blue. Oh, speaking of blue, uh, Archie... Hello. Yeah. Archie gets formally introduced to us now, which is nice. And he's like, hello, I'm Archie. He seems to like us now. <laughs> yeah, contrary to when he actually battled us earlier. He just talks about how Team Aqua and Magma are rivals and how they want the uh, blue and red orb, respectively, but... Mm, you'll see. You get a hands-on demonstration of it soon. Of the orbs, at least. Yeah. Um, mm, now, I'm going to tell you now, although it's a bit of spoilers. Oh, one sec, actually. This is the teleportation system. Ah, see, I'm not the only one who can teleport. The game does it for me, too. <laughs> anyway, um... I'll tell you now, even though it is a bit of a spoiler, we're going to see Shaman very soon. But, and I do regret saying this, even though it's legendary, I have to kill it. <laughs> it would be a waste for me to catch it because I won't be using it, and it would just make the battle with it much, much harder. And Pamela needs the experience. So if you like Shaman, emotionally prepare yourself now. <laughs> um. We are now in the ghost house that we visited in Platypix before. And I hate going back to the city, but we're here, so yeah, might as well make the best of it. Um, this this thing that I said you need to iron on, I had no idea that it was just a cleanse tag, which we actually got in the same episode as we explored this place, I think. And I felt like a bit of an idiot. Oh well, at least we got around to it eventually. Um, the purpose of it is to go and um, catch a rest. Well, yeah, pretty rare, actually. I haven't seen one. A rare ghost-type Pokemon. Which is kind of good, actually. Because um, it evolves into a pretty useful Pokemon, overall. Uh, that's right, it's a Duskull. Who evolves into Dusk Noir in the end. Dusclops next, and then Dusk Noir is its final evolution. Dusk Noir is quite good. It's very defensive, very, but very slow. It's a ghost-type, obviously. Um, I think it's good at least. The meta game don't often <laughs> consider it all that useful. Though it is overused, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not a meta game nerd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, I am a nerd in general, but you know, who isn't these days? This is the this is the age of the internet. And on that lovely note, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode we'll do uh, story stuff and maybe see Shaman, that'd be nice. But for now, I have to bid you adieu.